City Council is going to be discussing these at the meeting tomorrow night. They're going to decide when you can use them and when you can't. If you're interested in that, you will want to be at the meeting and you'll also want to tune in to the San Marcos Minute coming up next. Hi, I'm Christy Wyatt with your San Marcos Minute for the week of November 16th. I want to thank everybody who came out to the Wine and Wassel Walk over the weekend. It was a great event. Um, there was lots of shopping, good wine, and the Wassel, of course, got us all in the holiday spirit. Now, don't make this the last event that you attend downtown during the holiday season. There's going to be lots going on, so please be sure to check our website at sanmarcostx.gov for upcoming events downtown and all of our Christmas celebrations and holiday celebrations. And then also, I want to thank everybody who came out to America Recycle Day. We're really excited to share information with you about conservation and recycling and how we can um, kind of divert some of that trash out of the landfill. Um, so you'll, you'll definitely want to attend the Green Waste Cart meeting that we're having tonight if you're interested in that and you weren't able to make it, make it out to America Recycles Day. Um, if you don't know how to use your green cart, you're a little confused about what it's for, we're going to be having this workshop tonight at the Dunbar Center. That's going to be at 7 o'clock, so we invite you to come and attend. And if you can't make it out to the meeting tonight, don't worry, you can still find information on our website at sanmarcostx.gov slash green waste. And then I want to let everybody know that we're no longer on drought restrictions. Finally, we are off the drought restrictions. So if you've got a thirsty lawn and it needs a little water, now's the time to do it. You can find information about our year-round um, regulations for watering on our website at sanmarcostx.gov. Just click under the news section. Um, speaking of water, I want to let everybody know that starting last week, we have stopped adding fluoride to the water here in San Marcos. That's as a result of our election. Our voters decided that that's something they no longer wanted. So we worked with our water provider to actually stop the, um, the addition of fluoride to the water. You should not notice any difference in taste or any difference in your water, but just wanted to let you know that that has been done. And you can also find more about that on our website under the news section. Um, as I mentioned earlier um, in the preview to the San Marcos Minute, the council will be meeting on Tuesday night, and one of the big things on the agenda is a hands-free cell phone ordinance. So this is talking about driving while you're texting or talking. Um, we have been discussing this at a couple of council meetings, and if you know, um, several other surrounding cities from Austin to San Antonio also have hands-free ordinances. So tonight, or Tuesday night, city council will actually decide on what our community will do, um, whether or not they'll have a hands-free ordinance and what it will include. So if you're interested in that, please come out. Um, you will have an opportunity to speak. If you are interested, just sign up before the meeting in the city clerk's office. Um, and then if you're not able to make it, you can still watch online. We stream our meetings live on our website, and we we also have them available to you on cable on um, Time Warner and also Grande Communications. And then I'd also want to remind everyone who lives in Victory Gardens that they'll be having a meeting on Wednesday at 6 p.m. Um, at the San Marcos Senior Citizen Center. And this meeting is to discuss improvements to the neighborhood. So if you're interested in attending, please be sure to come out to that meeting um, if you are part of Victory Gardens or if you live in the area surrounding it and you're interested um, in those improvements. And then also um, a reminder that we will be rolling out a new open records request system. And so any of you who have done public information requests, open records requests to the city, um, you know that you've had to email in and describe what you're looking for. Well, we've made the process simpler for you and for city staff. So we've uh, rolled out this new system. Um, all you have to do is log on to our website at sanmarcostx.gov slash open records. And it'll take you right to that process. It'll be more automated and you'll, you'll be able to communicate with staff back and forth on those records requests. And then also I want to let everyone know that we will be having a military exercise in our community on a Tuesday. So if you see lots of military vehicles, if you see um, police cars and fire trucks, don't be alarmed. At the airport, we will actually be having an exercise that simulates a plane crash um, and a hazardous material spill. So if you see those vehicles, don't be alarmed. Um, it is just an exercise and it's a great way for us to prepare for emergency situations. Um, both our police and fire department and surrounding areas will be um, participating. And of course, we do have emergency management experience. Our, our cities had to deal with um, disasters twice in the last year, but not in disaster of this type. And so it's always good for us to work with our partnering agencies and kind of get some practice in those emergencies before they ever happen.
And then, of course, I want to say a big thank you to everyone who's contributed to the Blue Santa program. Blue Santa helps kids who maybe wouldn't have a great Christmas get a little something in their stockings. Um, and so our police department is encouraging you to also continue to participate. You can give monetary donations, just send your checks to the police department. Or you can also um, drop off new unwrapped toys, or you can help us with gift wrapping. Um, so if you're interested in that, we have information on our Facebook page for the police department. It lists all the days that we're wrapping gifts and also the information on how you can give. So um, we encourage you to do that. It's a great way to get in the holiday spirit and maybe show your, your kids um, a little way to give back to the community. And a big congratulations to the Rattlers High School football team. They advanced in the playoffs. Um, they won their game and we are very excited for them. Everybody here at City Hall is cheering them on. So big congratulations to them. Until next time, I hope everybody has a great week.